Okay, so you have a story problem involving HD and basic headphones. Something I like to do when solving story problems is, especially when I have numerous variables involved, is break down what each one is and represents just so that I can work with those variables a little bit easier. So the first question says that the number of basic headphones the store can purchase if it spends a total of $10,000 on headphones and buys 110 HD headphones for $70 each. So we're working with a combination of high definition and basic headphones and figuring out how much I can spend all together. Well, I know that the amount I spend on high definition is taking the quantity of HD that I have and multiplying it by the cost. So X, Z, and the quantity of basic and the cost of the basic combined to get the amount. Okay, so this is kind of my template to be able to figure out and plug in values based on this combination. So the money I spend on HD and the money I spend on basic gives me my total amount spent. So the first story says is asking, it wants to know about the number of basic headphones. So I have my basic headphones value here. And what else is being involved to spend ten thousand dollars? Well, the HD it gives me that I spend or that I have one hundred and ten HD at seventy dollars each. So when I multiply these two together, seven times eleven is seventy-seven, and zero and zero plus YW equals ten thousand. So I spend seven thousand seven hundred on HD. I have to take that away to find out how much I can spend on basic. Oh, yeah, okay, so, so, three, two. so I have $2,300 to spend on basic headphones. Well, the value, that value comes from two unknowns, quantity and cost. So since I don't know the cost, what I need to do, the, it's asking the quantity of headphones. Well, quantity deals with Y, so I need a Y equals statement. So how do I get it, the W off of there? I divide both sides by W. So the number of H or basic headphones that I could buy is determined by taking 2300 and dividing it by the cost of each headphone. So when I'm given one or the other, I can actually find the solution. But as this sits, I can only solve for this one unknown. So this is what this type of activity is asking you to do, to isolate one variable, the variable that you're trying to solve for. And you might not be able to get a final answer, but you can at least get close to it. So we'll look at the next one in just a second. So question two is asking for the price that the store pays for HD headphones. So cost of HD is Z. That means they want to solve for Z. The cost of HD headphones, if it spends a total of $2,000 on headphones and buys 55 basic headphones at $20 each. So Z has to get by itself, but we have to do some simplifying before we can find out what that is. So 55 times 20 is going to be 1100. And so the HD plus 1100 equals 2000. So when we take the 1100 away, it means we have $900 to spend on HD. Now they're not interested in the quantity, they wanna know the cost. So X, Z equals 900, so it means I have to divide both sides by X, the quantity. So Z equals $900 being divided by the quantity. So we can find the cost if we take the amount we can spend and divide it by how many we get with that. So that is your simplified equation for number two. So the final question is asking us to find out what is the quantity of HD headphones that we can buy. Quantity of HD is the X variable, so that's the one that we want to isolate. So uh, XZ plus 130 basic headphones at $6 each gives us our total spending of 14100 Well, 130 times 60 is 7800 so XZ plus 7,800 equals 14,100. We take the 7,800 away. 
We're left with 6,300. I did these calculations ahead of time. That's the only way I know that without actually borrowing and subtracting and all that. All right, so we need the x isolated. So I divide both sides by z. x equals 6,300 over z. And that's our final answer.